Um, my name is Sergei Breus. I'm a builder and been living in this area for 30 years and built a few houses. And in the last 12 years, I've been doing passive house standards or net zero homes, if you want to call it this way. And uh, we are in one of those. Uh, that is the last house and it has all features which I always want to put into the house. Uh, like a European windows and doors, double wall construction, super insulated, and of course passive house standards, which requires a ventilation system, uh, we call it EAV, energy recovery ventilation. And uh, one of the best places, uh, best parts of this house is just connection to the nature. You look outside and it's really um, in and out, uh, blended together. And the idea for this house was really to create a, an enclosed feeling on the public side where the road is that keeps you private, keeps you quiet, keeps you protected. It's also the north side and when you walk into the house it's as open as we can make it and still be cosy and warm and protected. You can see out again and onto this, into the southwest facing rooms here and have this great inside outside feeling with these large expanses of glass. So that is what we call tilt and turn window. Tilt, it has two operations. Let does it turn and it opens just like a door. The tricky part, it opens inside, which most North American windows open outside. And the second operation is tilt. So you tilt it and you walk away and you don't worry about rain or anything else and uh, yeah, all security, and uh, it gives you plenty of ventilation. These windows are, came from Poland, this particular brand. They have triple glaze, uh, inch and a quarter thickness of the space between glasses, and um, hardware, you can hear click, 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 just like a vault. It came from Germany. Uh, triple gaskets, and you can feel that it's all wood inside and aluminum outside. So it's a beautiful sandwich and it gives you right here, right in the middle of this glass, it's I-11 and average it's R8. So it's pretty much like regular home insulation. Well, that is a regular wall, two by six wall with insulation, with your regular insulation. So we built second wall, so it's double wall and it gives you R60 minimum. That is very responsible, seal loss insulation, recycle uh, newspapers, gives you no of, of gas, it's all local and uh, electrician suppliers just love it because you could put everything right inside, no drilling it requires. So this is two components of this uh, uh, passive house on net zero homes. Super insulated windows and doors, double wall construction, R30 in, in your floor and R100 in your truss system. So this is very simple, insulation, windows and doors and one more very important component, it's ventilation. This house is so tight, it needs to have a lungs and I will show it to you where it is. No furnace, right? We don't need furnace. It's so super insulated, so tight. You literally hit in this place, take nothing. Uh, but you need to breathe. Lungs are right here. That is what extremely important for all passive houses. Uh, every room, bedrooms, uh, dining room, living room has fresh air coming 24/7. It doesn't stop working. It costs you $12. The system run. It's made in Austria. 
and call Zenda system. This is the best on the market. Um, it's just beautifully designed system. It's all electronics. I'll start it out for you and you don't touch it. Once a year, change filters. That's all you need to do. It's a magic machine where two streams coming together. Outside air and inside air. They meet each other and they exchange energy. They can exchange a little bit of moisture too. So in, in winter time in Maine, when we have really dry air outside, you bring some moisture back into your home. What we try to do, is, part of what we try to do is to build with components that will last for a long time and enable people to live in our very cold winters without fear of fuel poverty. So as Sergei, as Sergei said, the Zender unit um, costs minimum amount of dollars per year to run, right Sergei? It's 12, yes. like $12 a year yes, exactly. to run that unit. I think that, that another thing that Sergei mentioned was that this house um, doesn't have a furnace. It won't have a furnace. And that can be quite challenging um, thought for people who live in a cold climate and are used to reliance on uh, oil or gas or electricity to produce a tremendous amount of heat for them. In a super insulated building like this, you just don't need that heat. So as you see, this house is quite unfinished. Uh, we would love to find customer who bring their ideas for finishes. Uh, we put essential, very important things, it's already built in. So now we're talking about what kind of walls will be, what kitchen is going to be, what kind of tiles you like in your bathroom, uh, fixtures, lights, all of that I would love to leave up to customer. So oh, right now we have big beautiful green box, uh, it will be finished with siding, um, in the next months, but uh, finishes will hold up to for the last, and that what makes it more flexible for customers to come and choose their finishes. And we'll just simply give allowances, and it's available um, on the listing there what things cost. So everything is transparent and, and straightforward, and hopefully people pick something you know which excites them.